Okay, question number nine. So the first part tells us that we've got a semicircle and the radius of the semicircle is 10. Work out the area of the semicircle. Give your answer to three significant figures. So I need to know the area. Well, first of all, I know I don't get given this. I know the area is pi r squared. So to work out the area, I'm going to do pi times, well, that's easy because it's already got the radius. Um, given us a 10 squared and I'm just going to do that straight on my calculator um, shift in this button down the bottom you can see just about in yellow above there on your calculator you get the pi times 10 squared set it all up and it says 100 pi but I want to write it out as the full thing so that's 314.159 Two six five four and so on. So therefore, I know that the semicircle, that's the area of the circle, is just that answer divided by two. It's kind of gives us fifty pi. It's obvious. Um, One hundred and fifty-seven point zero seven nine six three two seven. That's all fine. But it does say to three significant figures here. So I'm going to go ahead. First three digits, 157. There we go. That's my area. Second one asks us to work out the perimeter of the semicircle. So this time we've got to work out, and this is important, we've got to work out this curve length around there. But we can't forget to add on 10, 20 because we've got to find a perimeter shape for the diameter across here. Okay, so very similar process. Uh, circumference is pi times the diameter. So the full circumference is our pi times our by our 20, which is obviously going to come out to 20 pi. Um, if you want it as a number, because I've chosen 20, not 10, because I wanted chosen 20, not 10, because the 10 is only the radius here, and I want the full length across. Which gives us 20 pi, which is equal to 62.831853.07. That's the circumference of the whole shape. I want, and I'm explaining what I'm doing here, making it really obvious, I want the perimeter, which is my answer divided by 2 plus on my 20 for the diameter. So then, easily on my calculator, I can just go answer divided by 2 plus my 20 which gives me 51 point 51 I'm going to write the whole thing out 51 point you can see it on my calculator and your display 41592654 again we're going three significant figures so we'll take the first digits 51.4 no need to round because the one here isn't going to round the four up done